So let's talk about the Baltimore Ravens here for a minute. This offseason, they obviously made a number of moves at the skill positions, you know, getting rid of trading Hollywood Brown, drafting multiple tight ends. Uh, one, one of them, Isaiah Likely, the fourth round choice out of Coastal Carolina, has made a, a big splash already uh, with the Baltimore Ravens. But before we get into that, uh, we are really excited for this. We are pumped to announce we partnered with Ultra Game NFL to give away some awesome merch. This is really good stuff, guys. It's, it's great stuff. To find out how to enter this short time giveaway, check out our description box below or stick around to the end of the video. We'll give you all the details you need to enter. Um, but, Myers, before I get your opinion on Likely, I want to hear from the Ravens fans. Comment below who you think the top three targets for Lamar Jackson should be this season. Let us know who you think. Uh, but, Myers, let's let's move on to Isaiah Likely specifically. What, what do you have on Likely so far with the Ravens? Well, Nick, I think there's a good, a strong non-zero chance that Isaiah Likely works himself into that top three uh, target role with Lamar Jackson. Because obviously, per Lamar's press conference, he was very impressed with some of the stuff Likely was doing in camp. And that's not the only person who noticed. Uh, Jonas Schaefer from the Baltimore Sun uh, commented and said, Isaiah Likely is a potential star in the making. Likely had multiple nice grabs uh, during many camps, notably two really good one-handed grabs. He had a lot of red zone reps that resulted in big-time touchdowns, and he just seems to be a great player in the receiving game, just overall really solid hands, and he even had some decent second-level blocking. So Likely, who is, you know, a, a bit of a tweener at 6'4", 250, uh, and he ran like a 4'8", 40 at his pro day, so He's kind of fast, not too fast. Like you said, not he's not breaking any records or anything. But I think likely is the perfect combination of strength, speed, everything available to be a real threat in this Ravens offense. And already building the confidence of uh, Lamar Jackson is a huge one, especially since Marquise Brown has left the offense, one of his favorite targets. Uh, likely is working him his way in there to potentially take over some of those reps that Brown left on the table. What do you think about all of this, Nick? So I think you brought the key point there of fitting into the Ravens offense. So I did some research and, and looking up how the Ravens break down their uh, offensive game plans per personnel groups. So the Ravens use what's called 11 personnel. That's one tight end, one running back, three wide receivers the third fewest in the NFL. Only two teams use that personnel group, uh, less than the Baltimore Ravens, and that is by far the most popular personnel group. Uh, contrary to that, the Ravens use two running backs, two tight ends, the most in the NFL, five times a league average. So what does that mean? It means while the rest of the league is zigging to using three wide receivers, one tight end, one running back, the Ravens are zagging to using multiple tight end sets. And I think that's really, really smart. One of the best ways to achieve success in the NFL long term is to go the different direction from the rest of the crowd. When it comes specifically to Isaiah Likely, I love the fact that he's willing to block at the second level and has that talent because I look at him more as a matchup nightmare. Because if you look at how the Ravens have to play or teams have to play the Ravens, you, you know, when you play, let's say you have a formation for the Ravens, you got two receivers, let's say Bateman and Duvernay, two tight ends. Uh, Andrews likely, and then J.K. Dobbins is a running back. So obviously you put two DBs on the two receivers. You got to put a DB on Andrews. He'll smoke a linebacker, and you better put a DB to watch Lamar Jackson because otherwise he'll run for 300 yards on you. So what does that mean? It means Isaiah likely is going to be one-on-one -on -one with the linebacker all day long, and he'll destroy that matchup. He has that kind of receiving talent. So I just look at those personnel groupings and the challenges that's going to cause opposing defenses, and I really think that in of itself as part of the Ravens offense will drive Likely's production. Yeah, no, and I completely agree with you. And another thing, we've been high on Likely ever really since he was drafted. Obviously, I lived in Myrtle Beach at one time and saw Likely play at Coastal Carolina a fair amount. Uh, he kind of stood out there. And I really want to say that, you know, that we've harped on this many, many, many times. He was very productive in college. And like we like, we like to talk about, Measurables only get you so far. Uh, what's that famous line? But can he play football? Yeah. You know, likely can play football. He's a real, he's a really great football player. So I think it's key that outside of all the measurables, if we take those off the table, likely is still a good football player who is very productive in college. And I think that's going to help him translate into the NFL. So I, for one, am ready for our new tight end overlords to come in and take over the NFL. Uh, I'm ready for 
all of the linebackers to be phased out, and we're going to have like 800 safeties on the field uh, because Baltimore's also been stacking up in the safety department to transition to this uh, side of side of the game as well. But it's, this is just Baltimore's overarching plan of capitalizing on undervalued positions like safety, uh, interior offensive line, and tight end, and drafting those positions and overstocking and using all of the players they get. So I think this is really genius game planning uh, by Eric Costa and all of the Baltimore front office, and I think we're going to see some really great results this season. All right, Nick, everyone's made it to the end of the video. And as promised, we're going to tell you about the awesome giveaway we have going with Ultra Game NFL. They have supplied us with these excellent, high quality NFL merch sh shirts. Uh, I really like it. It's soft. The graphics are incredible. So I was blown away by the quality of these shirts. But anyways, how to enter this giveaway, all you have to do is subscribe to us here at Saturday Morning Inspection. Go over to Ultra Game NFL's YouTube channel, subscribe to them, comment on our video, and leave us a like. And as always, we're going to leave you Ultra Game NFL's uh, YouTube channel in the description. You can find it there. It's very easy. Yeah, and if you want more Ultra Game gear, which you should want more Ultra Game gear because it's fantastic stuff, you're already going to be in the description box anyway entering this awesome giveaway. Check out our affiliate link going right to the Ultra Game NFL store. It's got all kinds of awesome stuff. You got to check it out. Ultra Game NFL, great quality merch every NFL fan needs. <laughs>